load. We gotta strap it down. Um, I already did up the back, putting the securement in this bone marrow, bone powder, something like that. So, how many we got here? Let's go take care of the front first, I guess, because I close up the front then normally. And uh, obviously, I'm not gonna vlog the entire process of me closing this thing up because it's gonna still take like 10 15 minutes, but yeah. I'm gonna put these down here and ever since i pulled my back i do feel it you know so yeah bit of a gap there and yeah, i'll break hard as they'll they get together <laughs> so i asked uh several people in my family people that are very close to me if i should continue making the video because you know it's already at this point, you guys should be have been watching for at least 40 minutes. And they said, you know what? It's a weekly update video. You might as well keep going. So, yeah. Uh, it's currently 8 in the morning. They got here pretty quickly. But that morning, man, I tell you, man, gagging and shit. That was not fun at all. Like, at all. We're most likely going to get the 3 o'clock ferry. Start heading towards home my gloves coming off my arms are tired okay we're gonna restrap them because look at look at all that extra strap i have now so do it again this is going to lithuania so there's a good chance that i will go home straight with this load and deliver on monday because today is already Thursday and then when you tap on it that ain't going nowhere <laughs> all right so yeah this is what I'm gonna be doing well uh, we'll do this first section we'll fully close it off and everything so you guys get a rough idea how to do it especially for the new drivers that watch me that haven't worked with a curtain side it's actually not too hard obviously I just still prefer a reefer because reefer you could work with a damn suit and uh you know we'll see how long it takes me to actually close this one up obviously i'm working a little bit slow if i worked faster i could probably be even out of here quicker but i mean i just woke up well not just it's early in the morning if i don't get the three o'clock ferry I'll get the other one. Come on, a little bit more. There we go. You know, the funny thing about these straps is it's going to be loose regardless when I get there. I can almost guarantee you. But that'll be hopefully next week's video because I would like to just go home. Because I'm, uh, I'm exhausted. I have to unload, load, unload, load. When you go to Finland, there's a lot more work involved than there is in Europe because in Europe you usually load the week before then you unload and then you load again and then you're done so it's one unload one load well sometimes you gotta unload and load again but there's a couple days in between I've been I unloaded so hold up how does this work Tuesday I loaded no unloaded Tuesday I got loaded Wednesday I got unloaded, Thursday I got loaded again. So, as you can tell, I've been around a little bit. So, I mean, I could make this a point of view video if I really wanted to. I don't know if I will though. The one thing I do like about Finland and general Scandinavian countries and stuff is, uh, Everyone speaks English, man. Makes my life so much easier. Like, so much easier. Also, I'm glad they brought me over here. And now where the factory is. Because that factory smells so bad. Like, I mean, I've been in some bad smelling places, but damn. Alright. That's that. Now let's close this one up. We're going to have to move this one first. 
because this one is not in the right place. Just move it over a little bit. There you go. Just enough for me to pick up the that thing. Clicks into place. Nice and easy. Boom, boom. This goes up. Boom. These go into place. Boom. It's gonna be a little bit wonky getting on the ladder. The tilt, it's tilted a little bit this way. But otherwise I can't get these damn things in, so. I could have bought a bigger ladder, but I'm tall, so that's fine. But uh, if there was a shorter driver with this ladder, he probably wouldn't be too happy with me. Shoo, we put the ladder here. The first one I can get, the first one's not the problem. It's the other one. Uh, my back is starting to feel it. On the right side, once I load, I should have at least today off because I'm not gonna make it to the destination. So I don't know if they want me to unload tomorrow. I mean, there is a possibility I might have to load and then unload again, which would be absolutely, that would be so much work in one week. So much work in one week. So you put one end in. And you start climbing. Look at it over a little bit. Got my arms are tired. Boom. I hit the GoPro again, that's usually what I do. And uh, there's usually a fourth one that goes all the way to the top, but I really don't get the purpose of the fourth one, so it is what it is. Then you get it in this space. <laughs> Gonna have to mess with it a little bit. Come on, come on, go into place, there we go. It's all about putting it in, into a hole, blindly. <laughs> I just realized how that sounded. And there we go. And then, you'll pull the rest of the curtain back. If it was a newer curtain, it would move a little bit easier. But, I worked with way less, like, worser curtains. And trust me, this one is not bad yet. I mean, yes, my arms are exhausted and stuff, but... You know what, I'm, I'm probably gonna make this the point of view video. Let me see how long I've been recording. Yeah, it's already been eight minutes. Might as well. How many more do we need? We need three more here. There's only 15 pallets. Which, I mean, it's not that much. But, I'm just tired, man. Then we'll fully close up the trailer and stuff. Should I do a point of view? Well, we'll keep on going and we'll see. I think I charged my GoPro beforehand. I'm definitely not going to film the, um, well, this is for the weekly update video. So if this is a point of view, then this doesn't matter, but I'm not filming the ferry again. Or am I? I don't know. Depending if my GoPro is dead. Because <laughs> it might be dead by the time I finish this video, so. Someone also posted a, a comment on my video saying you're just fresh out of 95th code and uh, you forgot to set the uh, 
the hammers. Listen, bud, no one does it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I should technically. It just is what it is, man. And like you said, Spain waits at gas stations to see. Yeah, because they know people don't do it. I don't know a single person ever that has fueled up and put hammers. This is one of those wonky ones that's gonna snap. It's gonna like pop. Fucking hate these. That's as tight as I'm gonna get it. It's a lot of forearm strength. All right, you know what? I'm gonna cut what I'm gonna cut out of this video and uh, we'll leave it at that because I wanna just finish and I'm not in the talking mood either. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this footage, probably put it in the weekly update video. We'll see. Thought I might finish. It was 11 minutes. It's gonna be like a 20 minute video of me doing this. So uh, I need to lose one from there. Three have to go in this space. All right. I can do that. Because like I said, I'm not going to put them all the way up to the roof. Uh, those metal things, because there's really no point. Like, really no point. I am a little bit low injured. Like I said, I am tired. We're going to go in this slot. the GoPro. My bad. They, they give really easy though. So I don't think this is uh, bone powder. I think this is just straight up crushed up bones. And I think where I take it, they make the powder. So God, my arms are so fucking tired. My fucking shoulders hurt and everything. Damn. Like, I know I haven't been doing much of exercise, but damn. Like, damn. How many more do I have? Four more. Ah. Four more, three, four more. I, uh, yeah, it's killing my shoulders. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I've heard I'm pretty strong, but like, this is gonna make me stronger because fuck, this is an exercise. Whew. I like the way the Americans do it. You know, you have those ratchet straps that like go on the trailer and then you use the pipe and stuff. My shoulders are fucking on fire. All right, then you go, and then we'll get rid of the uh, access that we don't need. God damn it! And there's nothing I can do about this. So if, even if I flip it, it's still gonna be wrong. So. <laughs> The truck's driving by. I might not use this footage at all. I might just cut some of it for the weekly update video and that's it. We'll see how low energy I am.
Apparently I ripped my jacket too, but this is my work jacket, so it's fine. And it's the fact that I have to double strap them just because they're giving so much. That is also kind of annoying. But it's also for safety reasons, so. There we go. Not trying to resist again. Like I said, by the time I get there, it's gonna, it's all gonna be loose. It doesn't really matter. Now we gotta put in three of these because I'm not gonna use three of them. So my back is killing me. I don't want to do a lot of bending, but all right. As long as they're out of the way, I don't care. Why is it not closing? Why is this one not closing? Those might be too much in the way. No, I was just being wonky. Right. If we tie down this last one, I mean, grab three more, we could close this one too. This one's fully closed already, like fully set up. So, so we need one here, and then three more over there. Once I get fully loaded, I go back, I get on the scale, they weigh me, then they give me my paperwork, I call my company. Tell them, how much I weigh and then they buy me a ticket for the ferry again so yeah we'll see I haven't done a point of view and I didn't think one would be loading but you know I still have to put those in but I will uh I will mess with that later because like three is more than enough why would I put a fourth one all the way up there just a pain in the ass I didn't even check if this was straight, but got lucky. And like I said, it puts the Kerman in the back too, as you can see. So that will keep them from falling backwards, at least in theory. Look at this, There's no resistance whatsoever, it's just going. Alright, let's reset. Now look how much this one got reset, it was all the way down here. It's still, not, it's still going. Now it just started to resist. Like I said, the good thing about Finland is easy to communicate with people. <clears throat> Went to a store like you guys. Well, I didn't take you all the way to the city, but it's a little bit further that way. I think we're pretty close. Went for a walk yesterday, got some stuff I was going to show you, but then I remembered that uh, realistically, uh, if I show you what I bought, I bought someone a gift and they watch my videos and they'll see what I bought them. So, cut it, I can show you. Also, still on a hunt for a keychain or a magnet in Finland. Apparently, that shit's harder to get than I thought. <laughs> but uh, we'll find something. No, I like to go in this one. All right, three more. Just three more. And then just climbing up some ladders. 
The good thing about these things right here is that there's a less chance that you're not going to get these straight and be able to put those in. So it's less of a hassle. One of those wonky ones. Oh my god, my arms are killing me. My shoulders are on fire. Oh my fucking shoulders. Whoo! These bitches are on fire. Alright. No pain, no gain, eh? <laughs> oh my god, you don't even know how bad they're killing me right now. Oh, only two more, come on. We can deal with pain, plus my back hurts because of the whole muscle thing. And uh, yeah, it's fine. I can deal with pain. <sighs> Physical pain ain't shit. <laughs> <coughs> We're gonna just set this one up too right away. So I don't have to keep on walking back and just tie them both down and be done. <coughs> it was uh, minus three in the morning today. It's a little cold. Thank God I fixed the fucking bunk heater in the truck. Cause that would have been terrible. Come here. That's why I'm, I have my whole coat on and everything. There we go. The end is near. Okay. I'm about to reset that one anyway, so I'll have to reset both of them. The way that was sounding, it sounded like One more to reset, and we're done. <coughs> All right. One last one, last one, last one. <laughs> My shoulders are like, bro, can we please stop? <laughs> no! <clears throat> Come on. Almost there. And we're good. Fuck me, man. All right, now just the process of closing up. So, there goes my back. See, and it pulls it back so it's straight. That's the good thing about these things. So the back is done. I just need to place in all the other ones. So I have one here. We're gonna grab. I already compensated for the one I'm not gonna use. So let's put that one in here. Sometimes they are a little bit stubborn, but for the most part, it's fine. 
All right, last time to bend over, over. Oh, my back. If you can't tell, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I put this one in and then you can see we have them all right there so there should be four of them there wait is that correct Sometimes you really got to talk to it aggressively. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, close this one up first. It's all about closing up the trailer. Get weighed, get the paperwork, and get the fuck out. There should be, yeah, two more. That makes sense, yep. Alright, that's done. And now we only have that one section left. This one right here, so. Since that side was a little bit more wonky than this one was, we're gonna put it in that side instead first. There we go. It's all about not fighting the trailer. Where's the last one? There it is. You have to work with it, not against it. So, yeah. Alrighty. I know these uh, guys unload through the back. They don't have the equipment. Okay. Now we close up and we're done. We start up and the ways we go. Flip it underneath that little flap, pick it up a little bit, and get it in the hole again. You lift up to make sure it's comfortable in there. Well, I guess I didn't get under the flap normally. It's not in yet. <clears throat> this fucking flap is gonna piss me off now. out hook it there we go I'm gonna hook the other one as well I still need to stop at a bathroom I'm gonna do that as well Cause like I said where I was sleeping no bathroom so I mean I'm not that shocked 
usually how it goes around here in Europe. I don't know why they just don't put in more bathrooms. Just need to put a little bit more. It'll be good. happen um oh shit all right oh this was already repaired so not surprised it ripped out it's fine we'll just pull it through hopefully we can get it out yeah we're gonna get it, we get it out Throw it somewhere where no one can run over it and then we're gonna strap it in like this then so freaking tired you don't even know if there's not too many silence I might make this a point of view if there's a lot of silence and I won't I wish I could just break this piece off but oh well let it stay I guess I did a good job of like tying down the trailer though like it's really easy to get these on usually it's not sometimes it's harder sometimes it's easier These sometimes like to untie themselves, which is annoying. So I try to make them secure, but it doesn't always work out. very tight up here all right and we are done all right and that's it we are loaded up and good to go oh yeah that, that killed my back <coughs> Alright, that's the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.